Most of us dream about owning our home. You may know this is one of the most important financial decisions ever. What you may not know is that this decision will also be one of the most important to restore or trash the planet. Getting your house right represents both a direct and indirect action towards achieving most of the sustainable development goals, our agenda to make a better world by 2030. The built environment is directly influencing 10 out of the 17 sustainable development goals, such as clean water access, clean energy production, and providing good jobs and economic growth. Indirectly, it influences more goals, such as reducing poverty by providing affordable housing, alleviating hunger if we manage to produce food at home, and even protecting life below water by reducing the chemicals we throw down the drain, ending up in the ocean. But how do we trash the plant from home? Well, globally, the building sector accounts for 40% of energy use, 40% of drinking water pollution, 50% of landfill waste, and 40% of carbon emissions, with homes alone being responsible for over half of these emissions. Additionally, homes are massive hubs of consumerism and waste. Do you want to know how much you consume? Try moving house. But this is no coincidence. The average Australian family spends 90% of its time indoors, two thirds of which is at home, or even more if you are currently experiencing lockdown due to COVID-19. Therefore, homes are a criti critical strategic place from where we impact the world and our health. So here's the challenge. To meet the global shelter needs of our ever-growing population, it is estimated that over 2 billion homes will be constructed at the end of the century. This is like almost building three times the current total number of homes in Australia every year until 2100. According to a UN environment report in 2017, we will double the global building stock by 2060. To give you perspective on the speed required, this is like building a New York City every month. Now, how do we restore the planet from home, you may ask? Well, what if you could build your house whilst reversing global warming and make it climate change ready? When I was imagining my home, I wanted a house in the city, which was cheaper to build, comfortable to live in, had less of an impact on the environment, fully decoupled from fossil fuels, and adapted to climate change effects. And I didn't find it. So I built it. What you are saying is my sustainable urban house, Casa Urbana Sustentable, or CUS, as I call it for short. CUS is a house compatible with the biosphere, located in Guadalajara, a Mexican city of about 5 million people. By using bioconstruction, I was able to abate carbon emissions almost to net zero, not only because the house is fully electric, powered by the sun, but also because the construction materials were carbon negative. That means materials like wood, straw, bamboo, and soil sequestered carbon from the atmosphere, reversing global warming. That is a climate positive effect instead of a negative one under conventional models. Now, think about this. The proportion of carbon emissions between operating a building and constructing it is about 50-50 with an important difference. The operational carbon is gradually emitted throughout the lifetime of the building, say 80 to 100 years, whereas the embedded carbon in the construction materials and the construction process is fully emitted upfront. From these two halves, which one should be priority? That's right, the half that is emitted upfront. Unfortunately, most of the carbon neutral standards for homes do not account for embedded carbon. This is a gap that we must address urgently. 
No doubt, home construction is outspokenly related to climate change, which is perhaps the most important of all the SDGs. If we fail at stabilizing the climate system, we may lose the opportunity to achieve all the other goals. Now, what if your house could help alleviate hunger and help your community? We can grow organic food at home, improving our health and food security. But what if we could share that food with hungry people? At Coos, we have a fruit tree for people to feed themselves from the street. Simple. However, it's not only humans going hungry, but local biodiversity is too, when changing the native, native vegetation for aesthetic purposes. At Coos, we have carefully selected local vegetation to support local biodiversity, like insects and birds, to find their original food source. What does your house do for your community? Moreover, what if we could build your house, transforming rubbish into effective construction material and save you money? Coos is mainly made out of dirt and urban rubbish. About 80% of its materials are biodegradable, recycled, or reused. I have a wall made out of glass bottles with a terrific design. I chose the mystic pie symbol. In the mix, there are bottles of wine, rum, and tequila, because hashtag Mexico, that the city generously discarded over the weekend. Think about it. All this is free construction material with insulation integrated. Another example is my kitchen. It looks like, it looks like a stone, but it is actually made out of Tetra Packs. There is a clever business recycling the polyaluminum inside of these packages, designed to contain liquids like juice or milk. As a hydrophobic material, it does not absorb moisture. Therefore, bacteria and mold do not grow. Consequently, I save time, effort, and money in heavy duty cleaning. Also, my house has no paint, no toxic volatile organic compounds in the air. This means less maintenance, better health, and more savings. As a bonus, at the end of its lifetime, most of the materials at Coos will have one of two endings. Either they will be reused or reincorporated into nature. Importantly, what if homes were designed for users, not for investors? Commonly, we find property built with the cheapest materials, poor design, and overinflated prices. As Nicole Gouran once said, we're transitioning from a country where the dream of home ownership was possible to most Australians into a society obsessed with property speculation as a competitive sport. From now on, every house built conventionally, it is a wasted opportunity. 50% of humans live now in cities with a trend about to reach 70% in 2050. In Australia, already two thirds of our population live in urban areas. With a global population projected to over 10 billion people by the end of the century, clearly cities will become a massive force of environmental degradation or an ecological regeneration force. It all depends on how we design them. Evidently, the construction industry needs a deep transformation that will be only delivered if there is demand. We have a great opportunity to make sure that most of these new homes are built sustainably. Every house, every building, every apartment murders now. I know trying to solve global challenges can be overwhelming. However, I believe in self-responsibility as a powerful action that ends inciting many others. So here is my advice. If you are deciding to build your house, seek out bioconstructors. 
if you prefer to buy one, demand sustainable features and ratings. In Australia, the Green Building Council is about to launch a new rating certification for homes in 2021. Alternatively, if upgrading your place, look for the most sustainable options. Our risk appetite for innovative construction materials and new construction models must persist and expand. Overall, we can restore literally from homes the impact cities have on the planet and help close the gap for the sustainable development goals. And that is an idea worth spreading.